In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for June the 4th, 2019, according to St. John. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world was existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you. And now they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and all yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. The Lord says, This is life eternal, that they should know you only through God and Jesus Christ. What else can we say? I would like to clarify something. The largest apostolic see in the world, that is the Roman Catholic, which, separ which separated itself from the Orthodox Church, has been promoting for, over, for almost a thousand years that to know God is just some sort of like an academic knowledge. Nowadays they have this ideology, it has, it has derided into an ideology. Contrast that with the Orthodox Church where faith is a way of living. It is a way of living. Well, then how it is that is to know? To know means to be very intimate with God. That is to know. That we should know is that we should know God is that we have God inside ourselves and we in Him. How is that possible? You could ask. How am I going to be with the Lord? let alone with God himself. Well, he has told us, whoever loves me will keep my commandments. You see? It's not just to say and proclaim, hey, Jesus Christ is God, I'm safe. I'm... No, it's not enough. That is not enough at all. You know Jesus Christ? If you believe that he's God, then ask for him to dwell in you. Then hear his words, his gospel, learn from them, keep them, guard them carefully, Live that way all day long, every day, all your life, loving that which has been taught to you from God. And then the Father will love you and he will come along with the Lord and the Holy Spirit to dwell in you. That is to know. When we know, normally we will love. Especially God, which is the answer to all the desires of the human. Not only the flesh, but also the mind. And above all, the heart. We are seeking for God, even without knowing it. But then we are deluded. We are uh, misled by the father of the lies, that is Satan and his minions. That is why we go all over the place and we find no respite. We have no rest until we find it in the Lord. If we go the process, then we have to be faithful because to that whom you love, you are faithful, naturally. And if you have come to believe and you want to be faithful, 
what comes about is that you ought to be baptized. Not by anyone, not even by a deacon, with all my respect. I am a deacon. I am blessed to baptize in danger of death. Only that. But it's not a complete baptize. But by a priest or a bishop. Because it's very, it's very special. Baptism is what's going to give you the life. And then you have to be chrismated again by someone that has the power and that has the knowledge of what he's praying for. Because in chrismation or confirmation as they call it, you will receive the strength of the Holy Spirit to live according to God. So you see, we start with, by learning the word, the gospel, and then we have to go, travel all around so that we might be able to really know God. Because when you get baptized and then you get chrismated, you can in all faith come to the church and receive the holy mysteries, that is holy communion, which we here in the Orthodox Church always give, always have given, and always will be given in the body and the blood of the Lord, in the flesh and the, and the blood of the Lord. That is when you also get to receive the Holy, the, the holy Lord Jesus Christ within yourself. But all of this is that we ought to know God, love Him, and be faithful to Him. 